9 a.m. in Korea and there's a really really cute cafe next to my Airbnb and I think it's like a pretty famous one but this isn't their main location but they're really famous for salt bread. I've never ever heard or even tasted salt bread but they look so delicious. So I ordered one for myself and I have a bunch that I am taking away and bringing it to my friend so I'm super excited to try it out. I got the corn crunch salt bread and the waiter said to try the middle first and then the edges which is more crispy. So I broke it apart and you're supposed to eat the middle first. Let's see if salt bread is any any different from regular bread I guess. Mm. It's kind of like hollow inside but it's very light and fluffy. There's like a little bit of butter that's melted inside which gives it such a nice taste. I also really like the corn crunch. If you can't tell, I really like crispy things so this corn crunch is right up my alley. You suit both, so it's like preference difference. But if you go warm, it makes you look like softer and more like roundy, mm -hmm. and then the cool one makes you look a lot more like flashy. I see. So she was saying a lot of Korean people actually prefer like the flashy oh. when they ask. When she asks, people would like probably be cool if they oh. were in your shoes. Okay. I like cool on you consistently. Maybe yeah. see, all my makeup is like warm. Yeah. <laughs> Same here. <laughs> she was like, oh, I get why she doesn't like yellow. I think the mustard or like the dull and dark yellows don't look good. Mm. Like, so this is bad. That yellow is bad, but this yellow mm. is yeah. good on you. Apparently I've been wearing the wrong foundation and this one is the one that matches my skin much better. Hello guys, I am just getting ready for the day. I did the color analysis thing two days ago and apparently I am a cool summer muted, which I always thought I was a warm tone girly. So I'm trying to do my makeup like she recommended. I don't know how I feel about it. It's giving really soft girl vibes, which I don't really know if that's 100% me, but I'm giving it a try and we'll see whether or not we like it. I also got my last lashes done yesterday and I got anime lashes. I don't know how I feel about it either. I usually just get volume lashes but I tried to give it a go since I'm in Korea. I very rarely do my eye makeup just because I don't know I feel like it takes a lot of effort and after getting my lashes done for so many years I was like I kind of get my lashes done so that I don't have to do my eye makeup. It was my like first few times trying to draw that egg yourself. I never did it because I always thought it made me me look like I have eye bags. It's such a big thing in Korea so we're gonna transform myself. So whenever I apply glitter onto my eyelids I usually take small pieces of glitter first and I only put it on the inner half of my eye and not the outer half because I feel like it makes me look puffy when I do that. Doing your makeup while talking is so much more difficult than you expect it to be. 
and then I take bigger glitters and then I layer it on top. You always put like the finer glitter first, otherwise it won't go on really nicely. This is the final makeup look. I don't know what I think. I feel like I'm not really used to it, but I do feel like it does make me look brighter. So I feel like she's right that I am a cool tone girly, which is crazy because I've been wearing warm makeup my entire life. But let's head out to Coex Mall. That's the place with the really famous library. I just wanna explore a little bit and I'll take you guys along with me. I just got to the mall and I'm gonna head to the really famous library. It looks so beautiful from all the TikToks that I've seen. So I just wanna check it out. This is definitely the most beautiful library, but it's so packed. I wanted to get a pick here, but I think that's pretty much impossible. So like really overheating in here because the heaters are so warm and I just really warm because I thought it'd be so cold today and it is outside just not in the malls but this library is so so beautiful I wonder if people actually read here because there's so many books but it's such a big tourist attraction and there's so many people I just wonder like what do people actually do when there's no tourists here Land is literally one of my favorite stores, so let's go check it out. They actually have one in New York and they used to have one in Hong Kong. Growing up, I actually shopped from a -Land, like quite a bit in Hong Kong, but they closed it down and the one in New York is so overpriced. Hopefully I get some cute stuff from here. I've been really wanting to get new bucket hats and this one's kind of cute for the winter. What do you guys think? I think I might get it. I literally have like decision paralysis and I don't know if I'm gonna get that bucket hat. But one of my friends said it looks kind of grandma-ish and she's kind of right. So I'm gonna wait to decide whether or not I want it. <laughs> Loki starting to get hungry because I ate like a pretty late breakfast so I'm kind of hungry right now. It's a little early for dinner because it's like 4 p.m. but there's a Hyundai department store and I remember the food court is really really bomb so I'm gonna head there and see if I can get some food. I just walked into the department store and immediately I get a whiff of really, really, really fragrant bread. Oh my god, I am so tempted to go on like a bread haul right now. Everything seriously looks so good. I want to try everything but I don't have enough stomach space. I ended up in the food court just because I wanted a place to sit down and really enjoy my food. I got some cold noodles and I've been wanting to get cold noodles for a while. I still haven't had it in Korea. So this one will be my first time having cold noodles in Korea. They gave like two little sauces. This one's obviously mustard, but I don't really know what this is, like vinegar maybe? I 
honestly really enjoy solo traveling but the one downside about being alone is that I can't order that much food and there's less variety of food that I can try. I just finished dinner and I really want to get some dessert but walking around the department store food court everything looks so good but I can only eat one thing. ended up getting some ice cream. The store was recommended by one of my friends from college. She says every time she comes to Korea, she always gets this ice cream. She said the original one is really good. The one that I got is soy milk. I feel like I'm not that lactose whenever I eat dairy products in Asia, but a couple days ago, I went to KBBQ with my friend and I had ice cream. And then shortly after I had the run. So we're gonna be safe and we're gonna eat soy milk ice cream instead. This is actually really good soy milk ice cream. Usually soy milk ice cream isn't so creamy, but this one's pretty creamy. Mm. I think I'm just gonna walk around the mall a little bit more, maybe pick up some food, and then head home.